hello guys welcome back so in this video tutorial first of all let me tell you we are going to add a little bit validation little code we will write for that so it is basically about the settings i mean as you know that that is even if a user do not set his profile settings that is to update his profile picture and the name and status etc then without that a user can use this app but this is not a good thing i mean we must restrict the user to set his profile picture and also the name okay which is i mean now we are going to make this mandatory without it that is let's say if a user do not set the profile picture and name etc then we will not allow the user to enter into the main application first the user has to set his profile picture and provide his name so only then the user will be able to make contacts i mean to make a video call with his friend i mean a video chat with his friend so let's just do that validation so on our context activity inside our own start here at the top we are going to create a method i mean let's call this method which we will now create let's give this name as validate user now let's just copy the name of this and let's create this method so come down here at the bottom and we can just create this method so it will be private void and then pass that method name which is validate user so here we need to create a reference to our users node and then basically we are going to check for the user id that is if the user a picture and if the user name exists for that specific online user okay so we can say sorry firebase database dot get instance dot get reference let's move this to the next line so that we can see it easily dot child and here we have to pass our current user id i mean the user id and by the way we have already get that id here okay current user id so pass that current user id here then we can say reference sorry i mean first of all remove this from here because we create a reference to the to our database and then our reference has a users not first okay so we can say dot child users dot child current user id dot add value event listener new value event listener make sure to put a semicolon here first in here we can say that if that user i mean if that user id exists in the database as you know that we are authenticating the user using the otp okay one time password and if i show you our that code then basically we are not saving any information here when the authentication is successful okay we just send the user to the main activity here you can see it okay so it will check if that user id exists inside the database then it means that the user has set the profile picture and the username okay then in that case i mean we can say if data snapshot dot exist if this exists it means that the user has set the profile picture and everything so we will uh, i mean the user is now able to use the application but if this is not set so we have to add the exclamation mark which means if data snapshot not exist that is this user not exist inside the database we can send the user back to the settings activity first from where the user will basically set his profile picture and name etc i mean to the account settings contacts activity dot this and we are going to send user to the settings activity dot class start activity for the settings intent then finish so that's it so now you can test the application by creating a new new user okay and it will not allow you to go to use the main application i mean to go inside the main application to the context activity it will directly after when you authenticate using your phone number i mean when you sign in using your phone number if you have not set the profile picture and the profile name etc then it will automatically send you now to the settings activity from there first you have you must uh, set the profile picture and the username for user 
so only then a user will be able to use this application now the next thing which we will be doing is that to allow a user to click on the video call button if I show you you come to the contact design which is if a user click on this button then we will send a user that is let's say this is the uh, John profile if a user want to make a call to John then the user will click this button so let's just create an activity for that and that activity will be our just right click here on your package name new activity and empty activity and the name of this activity will be calling activity or activity is created successfully now the next thing is that we have this button which is by the name this one call button so in our on bind view holder here we can say holder dot call button dot set on click listener new on click listener and then in here let's write an intent for it to send the user to the calling activity so I'm going to copy this intent and let's modify it for our sending user from the context activity to the calling activity and change the name of this to calling intent and alongside with that we have to pass some information and that information is basically information uh, of the user ID basically I mean the ID on which we uh, on an online user we click that is to whom we are going to uh, make a video call so we can say setting uh, for a file sorry calling intent dot put and let's give it a key name that is visit underscore user underscore ID and we have to pass the first we have to get that ID that is to get that here in our own above this user reference we can say okay we have already around um, get the ID okay that is the ID on the click I, that is the item click ID okay that is on which profile the user will click we have to get that ID and it will be stored inside the string type variable and now we here we have to pass it so you can say list user ID put a semicolon here now let's just quickly design our calling activity so first of all make sure to change this constant layout to the relative layout then the next thing is here to add an image view it will be match parent match parent let's close this and the next thing is let's assign some source to it by default and it will be our profile image and the scale type for this will be center crop and also let's just give ID to it so the ID will be profile image since it is our calling activity so we can write I mean we have to give it unique ID so we can differentiate by writing this underscore calling okay the next thing is to display the, that username so we have to use text view which parent content text color color primary text size 30 dp max line 5 text style will be bold gravity will be center layout above ok first of all let's just remove this and give it id ID will be name underscore calling. Now we need another text view. Let's just copy this whole text view, and this will be just a text. It will be just to say calling, not calling, but. 
and now here we can say I mean to move this we have to display our username above this text view so instead of that we can say layout above and then pass this txt id here now the username is above this calling but first of all I mean we have to add a linear layout here and then we will move this here to this bottom okay but first let's just add a linear layout and by the way text size for this will be 20 and the text color will be color ascent okay and now let's just add after this text view let's add our linear layout match parent wrap content and then align parent bottom to true margin from the bottom will be 40 dp gravity center and let's give id to it it will be our linear layout one now here we can say that layout layout above ID and pass this linear layout one here sorry it is a line parent bottom I don't know why by mistake I just wrote that okay here you can see it a line parent bottom to true I mean we move it to the bottom now inside this linear layout we and by the way the orientation for this will be horizontal okay just pass this and now in here we need two image views so image view, it will be 120 dp is the width and 120 dp the height and then src and inside the drawable folder i already provide you guys the link to all the icons in the very start uh, i mean the initial video tutorials okay so inside the drawable folder we have this icon by the name mac call margin right at EDP. let's give id to this and the id for this is mac underscore call now we need another image view here for which is basically an image view or you can say basically we will be using these image views as a button okay and the second one is for cancelling the call button first of all make sure to change the icon for this and we have an icon by the name cancel call and let's change the id for it also which is cancel call and it will be 110 and 105 dp okay and remove this margin right from here so that these two buttons that will be at the center and the important thing is that as you know that this is for the uh, when the user tap on someone's profile I mean on the call button so in that case for the caller that is one person one person is, is the person who is going to basically make a call so for that pers person only this button will be visible and this will be invisible so let's just set the visibility for our Mac call button to invisible by default so it will be gone just like this let's give some margin to our this calling so which is basically this one so margin bottom 20 dp okay so that it looks little bit cool more cool basically not little bit so anyways that's it now let's just go to the calling activity and let's just cast over these fields quickly so private we have a text view which is to display the name of that person to whom we are going to talk i mean we are going to make a call with then we have a image view for displaying that person uh, profile so we have to say image view and then image let us give proper name which is our profile image basically profile image of that person and then we have a button for cancelling that call so we can say private image view we have a cancel button cancel call button 
and then we have another one which is mac call btn so now in here our own create we can say name contact equals to find view by id or dot id dot name contact then we have let's just copy paste this three further times more times we have profile image we can say name profile sorry make sure to confirm the ids from here it is profile image calling okay so for the profile image we have profile image calling for the name we have uh, name calling okay so make sure to give exact ids to it okay name calling profile image calling then we have the cancel call sorry just copy and then make call button and the id for this is cancel call and make call okay now before working on that the important thing is to receive that id from our context activity which we are sending from here and by using that id we have to display the profile picture and the name of that person to whom we are going to talk i mean a video choosing video chat so for that what we're going to do is we need a string type variable here so let's create a variable by the name uh, by the name receiver user name uh, receiver user id and by using that id we will be retrieving the user name and user user name and user image so let's give name to it user image and user name so it will be your string type okay and let's just initialize it with null and also this one now here to receive it we can just say receiver user id equals get intent dot get extras dot get and here we need to pass over this key which is visit user id dot to string now once we have this uh, id which is the receiver user id on the basis of that we can now retrieve the data which is the user image and receiver user image as receiver user name so let's just create a reference to the database so we can say database reference and this will be a reference to the user node so we can give it name as users ref and then after this we can say users ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and here we to pass the parent node which is our users node which contain all the users information so now we can create a method by the name get and set a receiver profile info let's just create this function in calling activity okay and now inside this method is not a function a method basically so anyways we can say user reference dot add value event listener new value event listener and then here first of all make sure to put a semicolon here and this user reference is instead of i mean passing the id here let's just i mean we will be using the same function for the online users also so instead of calling it get and set receiver profile info we can say get and set user okay so it will work for both then i mean let's just copy this and paste that name here okay get and set user profile info so inside this on data change we can say that if data snapshot dot child we have to pass the uh, receiver user id here if this exists if the receiver user id receiver user id exists then we have to retrieve the receiver user image 
so we, we are storing it inside this receive user image string type variable so we can say data snapshot dot child data snapshot represents our users node and under that users node we have the receive user id and under that id we have information so you can say dot child image dot get value dot to string put a semicolon here and then let's just copy it we have to set the receivable username receivable username and the name is stored by the value name inside the database it must match with your database keys okay image and name which is basically image and name okay so once we get that we have to now display the information so we can we have name contact dot set text and pass the receiver username here receiver username and then by using picasso we have to display the profile so you can say dot get dot load receiver user image dot into we have an image view by name profile image okay and instead uh, i mean if your internet is slow then till uh, until the uh, I mean for the loading purposes just because of that if the image is not yet re uh, received I mean retrieved from database then we can use here a placeholder or you know about that which is and we will basically till that we will display our default profile picture so we have order driver dot profile image so this is for the uh, receiver I mean to set the receiver info also let just uh, retrieve information for the receiver also for the sender also this is the receiver okay that is the person uh, who is calling okay so if I basically now I am the sender that is I'm going to make a call okay so on my screen I will see the receiver profile image receiver name and the this red button basically to cancel the card and then the receiver will see on his phone my image and my name here and instead of this red button there will be two buttons that is this red button also and the green button for accepting the call so for that basically we need the sender information also so let's just copy this thing here down below and instead of receiver we have now sender user id sender user image i mean this information we will display now to the uh, receiver basically so sender username let's just retrieve that in this video tutorial so for the sender user id we can say that here we will say sender user id equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user dot get uid and then inside our this method which is get inside user profile info we can add another if statement here and here we will check that if data snapshot dot has data snapshot dot child and the child contain the sender user id if this exists then what we're gonna do we are going to retrieve the information just for now I mean in this tutorial okay so we have the uh, sorry sender user image and it is make sure to pass the sender user ID here sender user ID image and then we have sender user name pass the sender user ID here and name okay so we are retrieving the image and name of the sender user id and we are storing inside the string type variable which is sender user image and sender user name we will be needing that in the next video tutorial okay so now in this video tutorial we are just displaying the uh, information to the uh, to the sender okay we are displaying the receiver information that is the receiver image and receiver name to the sender okay and yeah we will be further working on that in the next tutorial so yeah i mean let's just test the application how it works
so I connect my phone and now let's just run the application so the app is running now successfully and I have only one contact okay in my contact list which is John Parker and if I show you I am logged in as uh, Mohammed Ali now what I mean if I click on the uh, make a call button then it will just uh, make a call to uh, John Parker so let's click on it here you can see John Parker calling and this uh, cancel button now in the next video tutorial we will do the back end for this that is now it is just the UI I mean we are just displaying the information to the sender that is you are calling John Parker okay so we will do the back end and we will basically let the receiver know that is Muhammad Ali is calling you I mean we will store the information in the database so yeah, that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now